We have asked them if they come up with a special strain uh, that cures skin cancer, I think it is. They gotta call it the Atalanto strain. <laughs> Adelanto, California, population 32,000, is a little city in the middle of the desert, the kind of place you pass by without even noticing on the drive from LA to Vegas. Like many cities in sprawling San Bernardino County, it faces severe financial problems, teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. For a time, there was even talk of dissolving Adelanto and absorbing it into its larger neighbor, Victorville. But then, along came Johnny Bug Woodard, and his big idea. I'm sitting here thinking about this closely on well, what would be my solution? Everybody talks and complains about this or that, but yet they fail to go the further distance, walk the other mile down the road and say, what would I do? And then it dawned on me, I said, wait a minute. We could be helping a lot of people that really could use the medication here. We could be taxing that. That could be point of sales tax straight into our general fund. Johnny, or Bug as his friends call him, is a shaggy haired artist who hosts an annual bluegrass festival he calls Woody Stock. But he's also a former real estate agent and a Tea Party Republican. I'm a redneck, my long hair don't cover up my redneck. I'm a Republican, I'm a very conservative guy. I believe in the Second Amendment. And this self-described gun-toting conservative decided to make his foray into politics by running for Atalanto City Council on a single issue, saving the town from bankruptcy by legalizing marijuana cultivation. I had already picked out some property in Arizona to move my family to Arizona, because I really didn't think I'd be elected because I mentioned the M word. Yeah, I mentioned the M word, political suicide. You're not gonna get elected. Well, by golly, I got elected. Atalanto's unemployment rate, currently hovering above 10%, is 92% higher than the national average. Its economy relies largely on the three prisons located within city limits and the massive warehouses that store and manufacture everything from windmill turbines to predator drones. Atalanto's last big play was on alternative energy, but as the solar bubble went bust, so did the city's budget. The city council tried remedying the situation by putting a utility tax hike on the ballot, but the city's financially struggling citizens voted it down and voted the entire council and its mayor out. And Bug was suddenly in, and he had a mandate. But the political fight was not easy. Sheriff's Department didn't like it, correctionals didn't like it, schools didn't like it, and a few other kind of people like to just jump on some sort of political bandwagon is to feel good didn't like it. We had all these various people attacking us at the same time. I mean, our, our city council meetings sometimes wouldn't get out till midnight, 12.30 in the morning. The other council members studied the issue. The mayor visited Colorado to check out their legal pot situation. And slowly but surely, everyone came around and supported Bug's plan. The ordinance passed positioning Atalanto as the first Southern California city to legalize marijuana cultivation on a mass scale. Where you're sitting in is one of the warehouses, and hopefully by 2017 will house strains of cannabis that will be cultivated uh, for the consumer market. Freddie Sage is a defense attorney specializing in medical marijuana cases and one of Atalanto's first early investors as CEO of Atalanto Research Technologies. He plans to open up marijuana grow houses and state-of-the-art laboratories in these massive warehouses. You're looking at jobs in manufacturing, cultivation, security, maintenance, construction, sales, marketing, transportation, distribution. So you're looking at a whole variety of economic jobs. So it's not just simply growing a plant. If we never took the gamble, we would have never had a chance. And you certainly wouldn't have a chance if you never took the gamble. So it's like, what do you got to lose? Okay, so magically, everything seems to be falling in place. It's almost like the good Lord is looking down on our little town and our city council and directing us. It's like, I put this on the earth for you guys to use. The ordinance requires that at least 50% of the jobs created in the area go to citizens of Atalanta. 
While it's too early to tell if Bugs Gamble will pay off for the city, he's already seeing signs of hope in the spike in real estate prices as investors scramble to buy up Atalanta's land and obtain licenses while it's still cheap. We watch this real estate go into the millions of dollars, which is going to come back in property tax. We've given out 29 licenses. 25 of them went out in two days. I'd say we're still in the danger zone for now, but the light is really looking much better every day. California's legislature made Adelanto's ordinance possible earlier this year by passing statewide regulations on medical cannabis for the first time. But the real long game for Adelanto is statewide commercial marijuana legalization, which Californians will vote on this November. For years and years, our city was treated like a bad stepchild by all these other cities. And now we have an opportunity, if we do this right, we're going to be the ones that they look to and go, oh, wow, we want to be like that town now. And it's going to be a role reversal. (laughs) 